Hello guys, good evening to all, this is Mike Pado one we're back again to our latest weather analysis and this is for this uh, Monday to Wednesday, August 5 to 7, 2024 and this is our English version, voted by Typhoon2000 and Naga College Foundation, one of the uh, best educational institutions here in Bicol region and in Naga City but before we begin, we'd like to uh, thank our partners Aboitis Power Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainable with you. If you're interested, just click on the link up here. Or if you're watching via Facebook, visit the description page for more details regarding BPI Sustainable with you. And also one of the best hotels in the Bicol region and Naga City, Avenue Plaza Hotel. The local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman of the 3rd District of Kamakili Sur, Congressman Gabi Bordad. Now let's begin with our update. We are observing an active monsoon jar. Okay, when we say uh, monsoon jar, this is a broad area of lower atmospheric pressure, wherein within the periphery there are developing cloudiness with strong winds or gale force winds and a uh, multiple circulations or low pressure cells forming within this large monsoon jar, which is a common feature during the summer monsoon season during June to September. So we have this kind of situation wherein within the monsoon jar there are a series of LPA. Some of them will dissipate, some of them will become tropical cyclones. So we can, we are keeping an, an eye on this active gyre. And this is the reason why we are having uh, almost every day, afternoon or evening rain showers and thunderstorms because of a weak southwest monsoon or what we call as the southwesterly wind flow or westerly wind flows okay so right now minus this one okay this was our graph set that created early this morning right now 92w is gone and this is the only one left 94w and this uh, twin uh, lpas 91 and 93w but the latest right now, 91W is dissipating, but it will stay, uh, it will still fight to, uh, reorganize near Okinawa, and it will stay, uh, as an LPA. But decreasing cloudiness are expected. This one is the much healthier LPA, which could become a tropical depression or tropical storm within the next, uh, hours to, uh, a few days. Okay, but the good news the track of this one will move towards the northeast away from our uh, ocean. Okay, but again, it will continue to enhance the southwest monsoon, much stronger here over the western Micronesia, Yap, Palau, northern Marianas, Guam, Saipan, affected okay by these thunderstorms and strong winds of up to 50 kph. While over the Philippine Islands, right here, we are experiencing the uh southwesterly wind flow let's change the color okay so here but the good news in the morning good weather in the afternoon evening rain showers and thunderstorms so watch out for lightning strikes and possible flash floods when we have heavy downpour generated by this severe thunderstorm sometimes one two up to three times in a day especially during the afternoon or evening these thunderstorms passing by across our areas okay so uh, don't forget to bring your rain gear um, umbrella okay umbrellas so here's the fast animation from the university of wisconsin tropical cyclone page as you can see the, the circulation of 92 93w has i mean 91 93w starting to uh, dissipate okay and uh, here's the other one 94w moving slowly towards the north northeast and here's the uh, southwest monsoon while this one is the westerly and southwesterly wind flow also known as a weak habagat or the uh, uh, weaker uh, southwest monsoon if you want it in a simple way so it's still uh, bringing some thunderstorms across our country and here's the zoom in satellite animation. This is, uh, oh, this was beginning around 4 49 uh, p.m. until 10 o'clock this evening. There's still lots of thunderstorms being rainfall 
across various sections of the country, becoming more frequent over Mimokopa and the western sections of central Luzon, southern Luzon, western Visayas, okay, Negros Island region as well, what else? Areas of Sambuanga Peninsula, northern Mindanao, Carga, so we expect this kind of situation right now, rainfall, kind of weather. But no worries, waves are still good. I'm gonna show to you in a while the wave heights across the ocean or the uh, seas surrounding the Philippine Islands and inland waters as well. Now let's take a look at the windy.com uh, European model forecast. This is the wind and facial forecast uh, by tomorrow, Tuesday. You can clearly see here the LPA to the right side 94w becoming active while here over the area of okinawa 91 and 93w most likely 93w will merge with 91w so 91w will be the only one left or 93 depends on how they will treat this twin lps uh, wednesday there we go this one becoming a tropical depression or tropical storm and then thursday starting to accelerate towards the northeast lpa 91 w or 93 w is starting to become just a trough okay a monsoon trough and most likely it will be uh, i mean the, the scenario here will be transforming from a monsoon char situation into a reverse oriented monsoon trough where the trough is somewhere here okay and to the south of that trough is the north is the southwest monsoon so that's the situation okay but it's not uh, that strong and friday there you go it's already a strong tropical storm moving away from our ocean so uh, here's the uh, light southwesterly wind flow still occurring on Friday. Even if we check on the uh, American model, same situation. Tomorrow or Wednesday, it will become a tropical cyclone, uh, 94W, as it accelerates towards the northeast, while uh, LPA 91 or 93W is no longer... Uh, a closed circulation it has uh, bec uh, bec become uh, or be become elongated based on the model and a monsoon trough or reverse oriented monsoon trough will be established here okay and then for the rain forecast so check this out tomorrow 8 a.m we will be expecting another uh, sunny conditions except for the western sections of central and southern Luzon Occidental Mindoro, Colombian, and Northern Palawan. But elsewhere, the sun will shine. And then in the afternoon, a lot of thunderstorms across various sections of the country. Wednesday morning, good weather. Wednesday afternoon, another round of thunderstorms. But with a little uh, decrease in uh, some areas. Thursday morning, good weather again. In the afternoon or evening, Thursday, another swath of thunderstorms, isolated to scattered ones across our country. And on Friday, morning, good weather. In the afternoon or evening, another round of thunderstorms, but with a lesser uh, uh, with a lesser coverage. Okay. So if we wrap up the rainfall accumulation, total rainfall accumulation for the next three days, look at that. Only around 20 to 50 millimeters will be expected across the western sections of our country, as well as the western sections of Bicol, uh, eastern Visayas, western sections, okay, of eastern Visayas, Spate. So these are roughly around 10 to 20 millimeters average rainfall every day until Wednesday. Okay, and before we leave you, here's the latest wave height forecast from the European model for the next uh, 
three days until Thursday. As you can see, as we move this, this is Tuesday, Wednesday until Thursday. Wave heights here is ranging uh, from one meter up to 1.2 over the East Philippine Sea. Inland waters of our country is from 0.3 to uh, almost one meter in wave heights. And over the West Philippine Sea, it will be uh, more than uh, uh, one meter because of the southwesterly and westerly wind flow. But still, these are only light waves to slightly moderate and uh, suitable, f still suitable for fishing and sea travel. Okay, so there you go. That's the latest for this Monday. Another week, okay. And let's hope that you'll be okay. We will see you again uh, either on Wednesday or Thursday for another update. So watch out for that. And uh, let's enjoy our day-to-day -day, uh, life. Again, thank you so much for watching. God bless. And uh, stay safe always.